Good afternoon. It is so good to see you in person rather than as little squares on a, on a computer monitor. So thank you all for being here. I want to thank, first of all, Associated Students and our Student Nurses Association for making this possible. We are the first group to be allowed to do this on campus. And other people are going to look at the tape from this to look at, at what we did. So you ought to be proud about that. I also want to welcome those people who are watching on live stream because we didn't have much room here. Uh, so families, faculty, uh, loved ones are looking at this and hopefully getting a sense of what it's like to be here. Um, hopefully next year things will be better. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Phil Greiner. I am the director of the School of Nursing. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Pinning and Honors Convocation. And I want to say that we're also honoring those who graduated in 2020 because they were not allowed to have this type of an event. This event marks the beginning for many of you for your nursing career. But it also marks the end of my nursing career. I'm retiring after 48 years in this wonderful profession and nine years as director of the School of Nursing. So it is with great joy that we get to celebrate together today. Thank you. Now I have to tell you, our family nickname is the Criners because all of us cry at the drop of a hat. So bear with me, please. So in this celebration, however, you are the highlight. You persevered through a global pandemic that upended your college experience and created a brand new virtual environment. Along with your faculty, you pivoted to, through an endless series of changes and new information that guided our progress through the program. More than any previous class, you learned firsthand the importance of a strong public health workforce, the necessity of a science-driven approach to disease prevention and treatment. You stepped up to learn about new vaccines and to participate in their distribution. Our university leadership has taken note of your efforts and our university president mentions it always. Your efforts have had an impact on our community and its ability to control this pandemic. You should be proud of your accomplishments because we are. Nursing often promotes acute care as a high value workplace. Many of you will begin your careers in acute care. But this pandemic has demonstrated the need for an even stronger ambulatory care, public health, and telehealth workforce. So I encourage you to look beyond the norm to find the kind of work environment in which you can thrive. Because nursing is about thriving. You cannot be a great nurse if you do not also care for yourself. Nursing is about people, not disease or diagnosis. Nursing shined through this pandemic for the caring we provided and for our ability to be present with patients with, when family could not, for the time spent connecting with patients through, diff through difficult times. I want to take a moment for us all to think about those we lost in this pandemic. So for all of you, you have a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you. All of you have distinguished yourselves by choosing nursing as a career. A career in nursing is exceedingly rewarding, but also incredibly challenging. As SDSU graduates, you are equipped with an education that has prepared you to make a difference. 
to have the skills and abilities to provide the kind of care that all patients deserve to receive. Please act as if what you do in your professional lives matters, because it does. I'm honored to recognize you now as colleagues in the nursing profession. The education of these graduates did not happen in isolation. It happened because of the help and support of many. So at this point, would you please give a hand to your families and friends and loved ones who are in our virtual audience. I'd like to invite our Dean, Steve Hooker, who is the Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, to say a few words. He's not able to be with us today, but we have a video to show, and I'm not sure where that's going to happen. Hello, this is Dr. Steve Hooker, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services at San Diego State University. Congratulations to each of the students who will be graduating today with a degree from our School of Nursing. And congratulations to the family, friends, and others who have supported these students. I just wanna share a brief message and take from a article that was written by Greg A. Adams, Chair and Chief Executive Officer of Kaiser Permanente. And he had these words to describe the impact that nurses make in their communities. And I wanna share those with you. The words he used were hope and healing, devotion and dignity, empathy and education, innovation and inspiration, courage and commitment, hard work and humanity. And I wanna focus on that last word, humanity. If there's nothing else that you remember from today's remarks that are shared with you by all the speakers, I want you to remember that you will make a difference in people's lives. You'll make a difference in the lives of your patients, their family members, their friends, their caregivers. As a nurse or a person who's working in the nursing profession, you will make a difference in people's lives beyond measure. You will bring humanity into their lives when they need it the most. I'm proud of you. I wish you the best, both personally and professionally in the future. Be a proud Aztec and bring humanity into the lives of others. Once again, congratulations graduates and best of luck in the future. Second, I would like to recognize some of the people who had a hand in your education. Typically, we have representatives of our clinical agencies, we have our faculty, we have our staff all present here. So they too have made a little recording for you as well. So I'd like to have you see that at this point. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. You have made it so far. You've done so well. You have so much to be proud of. I'm very proud of you and it would be a blessing to see you in practice and succeed. I think you're going to be excellent in everything that you do. Don't forget we're always here for you. Congratulations class of 2021. Good luck and take care. Congratulations seniors. Your perseverance, flexibility, and hard work have paid off. You'll soon be putting RN after your name, and I'm so proud to call you colleagues. Best wishes with your careers, and congratulations, class of 2021. Hi, everyone. It's your friendly neighborhood nursing advisor, Pete Strockwitz. I wanted to send you all a sincere congratulations. You are about to graduate from the BSN program at San Diego State and you should be extremely proud of what you've done. You've been through a rigorous program as it is and they are hard enough and to go through a good chunk of that in a pandemic and to, to come out of that as strong and resilient as you all are, should be extremely proud of that. I 
On the flip side, I've been extremely proud to be your advisor. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with you all, and I wish you the very, very best for your career and your lives. And you know how I like to say all the time, if you, you know where to find me, and if you need anything else, you just ask. All right, I'll be here. Come visit me when you're on campus, and good luck. Hey, class of 2021, you made it. Congratulations. You made it through all the craziness of the pandemic. I just want to tell you it has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you. I wish you many blessings on your journey as an RN, and I just want to say again, congratulations. To the stellar class of 2021, congratulations on making your leap into the future. You've shown persistence, resilience, diligence, brilliant critical thinking. You've cared for others with vigor, thought, and you've displayed grace under pressure. I mean, my gosh, this has been a pandemic year, right? So it's been an honor being involved with your education. And for those that know me, you will know that I just, I can't do this without offering up just a little bit of advice. So here's my advice over three years. Year one in the profession, you should join a professional nursing organization which represents your field of expertise. It can be enlightening, empowering. It can help move you along into the future. Year two, you should go to a national nursing conference, which again, reflects your expertise or your niche in nursing. Uh, you'll be able to network. You'll be able to exchange ideas, get perspective on how to optimize your patient care year three by year three you should be teaching you should be a preceptor you should be passing on your information your wisdom to newer young lions in the profession because believe me by year three you're going to have plenty to convey to impart to empower others all right that's it done with my advice congratulations um fight the good fight make people's lives better hello san diego state class of 2021 i'm professor preston from pediatrics and I just wanted to say congratulations, especially on navigating the rigors of nursing school during a pandemic. You guys have built up the skill of resiliency and that is gonna serve you so well in your future. I'm excited to know what you guys end up doing and um, go get it. Hello from Professor Mary Beth Barr. We missed you all in the simulation lab this year. I just want to show you, we got a new mannequin here. This is CA Apollo. He just came out of the box yesterday. I need some help trying to figure out how to use them. We'll miss you all. Best wishes for your career in nursing and don't forget us here at SDSU. Bye. Congratulations, everyone. Today's ceremony signifies the achievement of a great personal milestone for all of you. In spite of the crisis facing our world, you move forward with fortitude and resilience. I'd like to share one last thought, my secret recipe to being the best nurse you can be and to having an incredible career. I hope you mix a caring heart, confident hands, a well-fed intellect, and a giving soul. It's a combination your patients will be forever grateful for and one that will bring you great fulfillment and joy. It gives me great honor and pride to welcome you today as our colleagues into the wonderful profession of nursing. Congratulations to the nursing class of 2021. I've had the privilege of having you, most of you as students in the evidence-based practice and research course, and some of the RN to BSN students in health assessment. And I am confident that all of you are going to be very successful in your upcoming careers. So congratulations. 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 School of Nursing class of 2021. Here's Ava to read a quote. So long as your desire to explore is greater than you desire to not screw up, you're on the right track. Amen. And that's courtesy of Ed Holmes. And then let me show my garden to show that even though I can screw up, I can also produce some lettuce. Mortality rate of 50% is uh, somewhere to start and nowhere to go but up. Congratulations, you guys. Always be curious. Thank Always be curious. Salad. Congratulations, graduates. So proud of you.
Some of the students here today will be recognized with special awards, awards they earned by distinguishing themselves in various ways as they pursued their nursing education. All of the students graduating with a bachelor's degree will be pinned. Pinning is a time-honored tradition in nursing, and the SDSU pin has been worn by proud graduates for almost 70 years. Those participating in the event from home will be pinned by individuals who have made a difference in their, those graduates' lives. For those here today, we ask that when your name is called, you will please approach the stage and pin yourself in front of the camera to the right of the awards table. Master's degree graduates will be presented with their master's hoods. And before we proceed with the awards and honors and pinning and hoods to the graduates, I would like to introduce Dr. Michael Gates, the School of Nursing faculty member chosen to address the students and our associate director. I'm giving a final right now. So I'm getting texts from panicking students who are falling out of uh, Respondus lockdown. So that's why I'm checking my phone here. Um, Good afternoon. My name is Michael Gates. I'm the Associate Director, like Dr. Greiner just mentioned. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to this Spring 2021 live slash virtual pinning ceremony. I would like to congratulate these courageous and ambitious individuals who have been pursuing their nursing education during these trying times. These graduates participating in this celebration are a different breed of student altogether. While lecturing to this group in the classroom, yes, I think I did lecture most of you in the classroom, at least for the people last spring, half of it. Um, we used to do that in person. I know it's kind of strange. I was painfully aware that many students after a full day of lecture would rush home for a bite to eat or a quick, a quick gulp down of a Red Bull, only to don a uniform or a set of scrubs and head out to an overnight shift in a nursing home or hospital then come home again, collapse for an abbreviated nap before heading out to a clinical or another lecture. This is nothing short of amazing, and I am in awe of your hard work. I also understand how much concentration and dedication it takes to forge ahead, even when studying in laborious, is laborious and exams seem to never stop coming. The fact that you are all graduating today, eager to join such a noble profession, is an amazing feat deserving of much praise and recognition, especially during these unprecedented times. It's often said that nurses eat their young. And this group, and I hope every group after this, promises to break this cycle. And it's also said that nurses are overworked, undervalued, and underpaid. Bearing that in mind, personally find that there is nothing more satisfying for me the nurturing and encouraging new nurses to be their best and perform well, whether in school or in the workplace. As for overwork and underpaid, that may be true in some settings, but nurses are held in high esteem in our society. And just saying that one is a nurse feels extremely gratifying. Nurses can count themselves as a members, members of a profession that hold compassion, caring, and healing as three of its central ideals. Saying that one is a nurse is something I encourage the graduates to do with pride, as well as with humility. Speaking of being a nurse, many of you realize you're really a nurse when everyone you know begins to come to you with every ache, pain, and symptom they experience, fully expecting a definitive diagnosis. You're probably already getting that already. You may also find yourself washing your hands, and I think we're all doing this now, for a full minute in public restrooms and turning off the faucets with your elbows. On the bright side, being a nurse means that whenever anyone asks for a pen, you'll probably have three, four, five, maybe 10, and other times you'll probably have none because you came in with 10 and now they're all gone. On the downside, especially now that we, get, we can get closer than six feet, um, you may frequently catch yourself, and I still catch myself doing this, when you're at, in the line at Trader Joe's and you longingly look down at the person in front of you and you look at their hands and you look at their arms and they go like, 
wow, that would be a really easy IV stick or a really good one. So um, being a nurse is a noble and honorable profession. And I hope you understand the magnitude of the responsibilities you are taking on. You're going to have the honor of taking care of individuals during their greatest time of need. So resist complacency. Recognize the learning opportunities you have with each and every patient interaction and continuously seek out new knowledge. That's a big hint. I'm hoping to see whether it's here or another university, I hope to see that many of you are going on for graduate education in the near future. In, in closing, you are a bright, kind, considerate, funny, and only moderately argumentative group. And I will miss you all very much. It is my pleasure to be the first to welcome you as nurse colleagues. Thank you. As we begin the awards portion, I would like to recognize two graduate students who are receiving the Academic Excellence Award. As I mentioned, we were unable to have an event in 2020. So first, I'd like to recognize the Spring 2020 recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, Ms. Julie Crothers. Next, I'd like to introduce our Spring 2021 Academic Excellence Awardee, Matthew Keyes. I'm going to invite him to the podium to address you all. Good afternoon. I'm honored to be here and stand before the 2021 San Diego State University's School of Nursing's graduating class. I first wanted to start out by saying thank you to our graduating class, from our graduating class, to the professors, clinical instructors, and staff. Thank you for the wisdom and knowledge that you have passed on and for mentoring us to be the best healthcare professionals we can be. Your legacy will continue to live on through all the students you have taught and mentored. Also, a thank you to our family and friends even though you couldn't be here in person today, my fellow graduates and I truly do appreciate everything you have done to get us to this momentous occasion. The saying it takes a village is not an underestimate and your support has allowed us to reach this point and has not gone unnoticed. These past couple of years have been tough and full of challenges from initially dealing with the normal stresses of being a graduate student to the newfound challenges that a worldwide pandemic created. We have all had to navigate the challenges of switching to online learning. And by now, everyone here should be a Zoom expert and, not to and know how to properly mute and unmute yourself, okay? And then also be able to share your screen for presentations. The pandemic has also taught us that we are resilient and to adapt to any situation placed before us just as explorers before us have done. Frank Borman, the oldest living American astronaut and first commander of a aircraft that orbited the moon, said that exploration is really the essence of human spirit. During this pandemic, we have all had to tackle many different roles from student, registered nurse, parent, teacher, and military officer. Some, some tackled the job of homeschooling, some had their first child. One person even deployed to help support the operations of COVID-19. But everyone here has explored the new evidence being published daily by the CDC and other healthcare organizations in hopes of finding a way to treat a new disease. Although this may be the end of our time here at San Diego State, I encourage everyone here to never stop exploring like you have at SCSU. Never stop exploring new knowledge, innovative practices, and ways to challenge yourself both personally and professionally. Class of 2021, we are only a few days away from a large transition in our lives. I expect great things from this class, and I think a quote by Dr. Seuss from Oh, the Places You'll Go perfectly summarizes this transition that is soon to take place for everyone here. 
You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where you go. Now go forth, never stop exploring, and decide where you'll go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Keyes. Now I would like to recognize the valedictorian of the undergraduate class of spring 2020, Ms. Sarah Karp. Our spring 2021 valedictorian is Sarah Foshow. Sarah, we invite you to come to the podium at this point. Not that tall. Okay, there we go. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see all of you here today in person. Today is a day for both reflection and celebration. It's hard to sum up our last three years in the nursing program in just three short minutes, but if there's one thing I want to impress upon everyone here today, it is how proud each and every one of you should be of yourselves. If you had asked me a year ago, after abruptly transitioning to virtual clinical and the start of a pandemic, if we would be able to graduate on time, your guess would have been as good as mine. Yet, here we are today, graduating as the class of 2021 of San Diego State University School of Nursing. We did it. That is in part because of all of our own hard work, and it's also in part because of the support we've had to get here. To our friends and family, I wanna say a big thank you for all of your support. You were all there for us when we were feeling really stressed, out of motivation, or whatever we needed. And to all of our wonderful professors here, Dr. Gates, Dr. Concilio, Professor Heiss, Dr. Hadley, Dr. Madani, Professor Balsam, Dr. Kim, Dr. Rivas, Professor Greenwood, Dr. Cullum, and Dr. Carlson. Thank each and every one of you for your lessons, stories, and passions that you've shared with us that we will carry with us into our career. All of you are what make SDSU so great. And I would be remiss to not mention all of our amazing clinical instructors, but we would be here for a while if I tried to mention everyone by name. However, to all of our clinical instructors, your impact on us was equally as significant. You helped us grow from being scared to insert a Foley into a mannequin, from being scared to talk to, yes, a real patient, into competent new graduate nurses who can communicate effectively, perform accurate assessments, and practice safe medication administration. And thank you also to Dr. Greiner. Your continued support behind the scenes and your advocacy is a big reason why we're all here today as well. We are lucky to have you as our director. So I'd like to reflect on some give and takes things that we've given to the nursing program and things that we will be taking away from the nursing program. So we have given a lot of our time and because of that, part of our social lives. And we have also given literal blood, sweat, and tears here. Yes, I still remember the day we learned how to start IVs on each other and there was definitely blood involved. There was also some sweat and there was definitely lots of tears. Not all bad tears though, there were some good ones too. So moving on to what we will be taking with us from this nursing program. We'll be taking with us lifelong memories and relationships, resilience that we've built throughout the years, confidence, not just in ourselves, but in our ability to care for others, inspiration, and lots of knowledge both big and small concepts, 
such as simply how to be present with your patient and make them feel truly cared for. I will be forever grateful for the things that I will be taking with me as I leave the School of Nursing. But this is not the end, rather just the beginning of a challenging, impactful, and rewarding career. One of the greatest things about the nursing degree we'll be leaving, lit, leaving with is all of the opportunities that come with it. All of us will be setting out on unique paths in unique specialties, and I truly wish you all the very best. It has been an honor and a privilege to know each of you, and I know the world is going to be a better place with each of you taking care of and having an impact on others. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Fosho. Now it is time to present the student awards. As their name is called, we ask that you please approach the awards table and pick up your award and stand in front of the camera to be recognized. The first award is for graduate academic excellence and is presented to the graduate student with the highest grade point average of all graduate students. For the class of 2020, is Julie Crothers, and for the class of 2021, Mr. Matthew Keyes. Matthew. The second award is given for overall undergraduate academic achievement. It will be given to the student with the highest cumulative GPA earned in all coursework for the bachelor's degree in nursing. It is my pleasure to recognize again for 2020, Ms. Sarah Karp, and for the class of 2021, Ms. Sarah Focho. The third academic award for achievement in nursing goes to the baccalaureate graduate who has received the highest grade point average in nursing courses. This award will be presented to several of our nursing students as we had many of our, of our students with a 4.0 GPA. Please approach the table, pick up your award when your name is called. Uh, the following people are from 2020 and are unable to attend. They are Caitlin Naomi Blank, Misaki Fujita, Sarah Ann Karp, and Ada Shamsian. For 2021, Elizabeth Mary Alice Booker. Ms. Sarah Fosho. Ms. Chiaki Harris. Wang Wen. <laughs> Nu Wen. Thao Wen. Maria Plummer. Emma Shibata.
and Angela Rose Weber. I would now like to introduce Ms. Doreen Casuto. Ms. Casuto is the President and CEO of Rehab Care Coordination, or RCC, and Mr. Lauren Casuto, Chief of Operations of RCC. The Casutos could not be present today due to Lauren's impending marriage, but they have prepared a short video where they will announce the spring 2020 and the spring 2021 Rehab Care Coordination Leadership Awards. Casutos. Congratulations to all the nursing graduates as you're entering a new phase in your life. This is your time to take all that you've learned from your classes, experiences, mentors, and opportunities at this dynamic and innovative school of nursing and make a positive impact on your patients' lives, the community, and the world. When I graduated with my BSN before many of you were a twinkle in your parents' eyes in 1970, my class decided that we did not want to wear a nursing cap, as we should be recognized as a nurse, not by what we wore, but by the care we provided. At that time, the option for using my nursing skills in other than a typical clinical areas were limited hospital, community health, or long-term care. I recommend that each of you identify your long-term goals. My long-term goals were community involvement, educating others, patients, family, and staff, long-term involvement with clients, empowering clients to take control of their lives, making an impact on both patients and staff, and hanging out my shingle. Each position that I held provided me with opportunities for exposure to education, skills, and training to show that nurses can make a difference. I learned about rehab nursing. I established an independent living center for disabled residents, part of a federal grant teaching nurses in Ohio about rehab, set up a four bed spinal cord trauma center and 11 bed rehab unit and became a nursing director. I established a urodynamics and sexual dysfunction program and the outpatient nursing clinic. I even set up a health screening program for all my hospital at the Del Mar Fair. I established a spinal cord and brain injury prevention program for middle and high school students called Think First. I impacted or imparted my love for community involvement with my staff, especially with Dr. Dorothy Zirkel, who took over the Think First program and continued to show her love and involvement in the community, as well as her love of education through her role in the Masters in Community Leadership at San Diego State School of Nursing. She encouraged our involvement in the nursing program at SDSU and the establishment of this award, and we honor her memory with this award. As part of a reduction in force at one of the hospital, I lost my role as a nursing director. But as someone told me, when a door slams in your face, the challenge is finding the window. So that is what I did. I started my business, but I remembered what I learned from my clients. We all need something to do, something to look forward to, and someone to do it for. It was a turning point in both my and my client's life. My company and I believe in the importance of nurses and the role they can play in the community. And that is why this scholarship has been developed. We are honored to be involved with San Diego State School of Nursing and look forward to our continued collaboration. I challenge you to go out forward, identify your goals, find your place. I found my place and know that you will too. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Lauren Casuto, and I serve as Chief Operating Officer for Rehabilitation Care Coordination. While Doreen and I apologize for not being able to share this special day with you all, we are honored to introduce the winners of the RCC Community Leadership Award. This award was created with the input of two amazing educators I wanted to acknowledge at this time, Dean Philip Greiner and Dr. Dorothy Zirkel. Both were instrumental in helping to develop an award that combined the goals of both San Diego State School of Nursing and Rehabilitation Care Coordination. Winners of this award have shown a commitment to leadership, community service, and expanding the boundaries of nursing beyond the clinical setting. Before we honor 
the three awardees from the class of 2021, I wanted to take a moment and celebrate the winners from the class of 2020. Please join me in congratulating Dulce Plume and Lauren Wren from the class of 2020. And now the 2021 award winners. The first award winner is graduating today as an Aztec, but is about to become a sea lion as he was recently accepted into the Doctor of Nursing program at Point Loma Nazarene University. He worked as an emergency nurse at Sharp Chula Vista Hospital during the COVID pandemic. While working at one of San Diego's epicenters, he created a new role as the Safe Homeless Discharge Champion for the hospital. This allowed him to create a program with standardized resources, including meals, transportation, prescription assistance, and follow-up resources, and to begin to train nurses in his clinical area. Even while working in the heart of a wildfire, he was able to devote his time and energy to provide for the most vulnerable members of the community in and out of his, the hospital. For his amazing work and devotion to the homeless community, we are happy to give the RCC Community Leadership Award to Jose Rangel. The second award winner also served during the pandemic, working in the ICU at Palomar Hospital. However, nursing wasn't his first career. He began working in the service industry, which has given him a unique perspective on leadership and business. He continued working on his evidence-based change project during the pandemic. This project focused on a continued education for post-cold blue debriefings by implementing a standardized debriefing tool combined with combining first aid with real-time post-incident learning. I think we can all appreciate how tough it is to pursue continuing education in the middle of a pandemic, let alone getting others to do so. And if that wasn't enough, he's also the first student chosen for the student internship program with the San Diego Association of California Nurse Leaders. For his dedication to leadership and continued education, we are happy to give the RCC Community Leadership Award to Oscar Gonzalez. The final winner came to San Diego State after nearly three decades in Imperial County as a nurse with the California Department of Corrections. However, he decided he wanted to gain further knowledge and leadership skills and thus came to San Diego State for his degree. While in the RN to BSN program, he served as a supervising nurse in the outpatient clinic setting within the correction system. He set up an interdisciplinary treatment team for each of the four yards with morning meetings to discuss cases and determine evidence-based strategies for the day. He is also the co-chair of the Patient Safety Subcommittee, providing easier access to staff for reporting issues. With 25 years invested in nursing, this individual did not need to come to San Diego State, did not need to invest the time in a bachelor's degree or in furthering their already impressive leadership skills. Yet he has taken what he has learned here and brought it back to serve the incarcerated community in unique ways. For these reasons, we are happy to give the RCC Community Leadership Award to Cesar Ramirez. Ladies and gentlemen, let's congratulate Mr. Rangel, Mr. Gonzalez, and Mr. Ramirez for their awards and amazing work. Thank you all for this opportunity and congratulations to the class of 2021. Our thanks to the Casuto family. Um, they have made this award possible, I believe it's for four years now. And that's quite an investment by this family to our graduates. At this point, I'd like to ask Dr. Gates back to the mic for the undergraduate student awards. Okay, I'm at the Oscars now. Okay, so the first award that I'm gonna give out is for the, outs it's the Outstanding Student Award. And this goes to the student that not only has, has high academic achievement, but has also demonstrated clinical excellence and active community involvement. Um, the Spring 2020 awardee was Karen Laporte Markley. And the Spring 2021 awardee is Maria Plummer. The next award is the Personal and Professional Development Award. This goes to the student who has the ability to overcome adversity while still maintaining high academic achievement and strong professional ethics. In 2020, um, the awardee was Christina Pope. And for this year, 
Spring of 2021, it goes to Remington Mooney. The Walk of Fame. The next award is the Clinical Achievement Award. This goes to the student who demonstrated outstanding clinical practice. This is the person you would let care for your own loved ones. In 2020, the award was given to Sarah Osmussen. And in 2021, it goes to Ashley Jackson. taped together. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Gates. The Army ROTC program sponsors a leadership award for one of our graduates. It seems exceptionally appropriate for the Army to give this award. I can think of nowhere else where leadership is more recognized, cultivated, or important than in military service. This award will be presented by Lieutenant Colonel Michelle Parlett. Would you please pay, play the video? Good afternoon. It is my distinct honor to join you today to recognize the 2020 and 2021 recipients of the Army Nurse Leadership Award. As the Professor of Military Science for the San Diego State Army ROTC program, we pride ourselves on the quality leadership training that we provide our cadets, our future Army officers, including nurses. We train cadets for two to four years on how to motivate others, how to communicate effectively, how to set the example, and ultimately how to lead. For some, leadership comes naturally, and this is certainly the case for our 2020 and 2021 Army Nurse Leadership Awardees. It's no surprise that our 2021 recipient was the class speaker today. Sarah Fauchow has been a leader within the university from the beginning of her college career. An SDSU ambassador and SNA president, Sarah is driven and has flourished in every new role she assumes. She is humble, kind, engaged, and leads with her heart. Sarah is passionate about nursing and the nursing profession, about her peers and patients, and about the organization she is involved in. It is for these reasons that Sarah is deserving of the Army Nurse Leadership Award for 2021. Congratulations, Sarah. I would also like to recognize our 2020 recipient, Nikita Mahotra. Nikita was a standout within the School of Nursing. Her well-timed humor and the intense situations and environments that nurses and nursing students find themselves in proved to everyone around that sometimes laughter really is the best medicine. Nikita was actively involved as a leader within the SNA board, served as a TA, and was one of the VA Valor students. Genuine and caring, Nikita is clearly a model leader who consistently sets the example. Congratulations to Nikita, our 2020 Army Nurse Leadership Award recipient. I'm proud of each and every one of the graduates today and wish you the very best as you enter the next phase of your life and career. Congratulations. Sarah, do you wanna come get your award?
We're going to invite Dr. Gates up again. I think uh, all of you know he wears many hats here in the School of Nursing. Uh, he is our faculty representative to Sigma Theta Tau, or as it's now known, Sigma, our national or international nursing honor society. Dr. Gates. Okay. At this time, I would like to recognize members of Sigma Theta Tau International, especially all of our new members that were inducted this past fall and then some of you this past Monday. Um, just a brief overview, Sigma Theta Tau International is the only international nursing honor society which has over 130,000 active members, members in 85 countries. This honor society supports learning, knowledge, and professional development of nurses committed to making a difference in health worldwide. If you haven't picked up your cord yet, I have some, you can grab them from me afterwards. But if you're wearing the purple cord, that's, you've, you've been inducted into this prestigious society. So I'd like all the members, and there's quite a few of you to stand up and get a round of applause. The School of Nursing has been participating in a collaborative partnership with the VA San Diego Healthcare. This partnership offered expanded learning opportunities for students to participate. Unfortunately, our VA representatives could not be here today, but I'd like to recognize uh, Catherine Vakaik, PhD RN, who is the Associate Nurse Executive for Education and Research. Jacqueline Close, gerontologic clinical nurse specialist, and Lauren Pata, MSN MBA, for their hard work and dedication to the Valor program. The Valor program participants um, are going to be asked to stand, come to the table, and retrieve a certificate and a Valor honor cord when your name is called. First, I will ring, read the names of the Spring 2020 Valor participants. They are not here, so we'll just proceed through here. Ahmed Abu Saad, Christina De Almeida, Jennifer Deercup, Nikita Malhotra, Lida Milla, Marcelo, Ashley Medea, Amy Nin, and Christina Pope. For spring 2021, I'll ask you to come up to the awards table. Elizabeth Booker. Katie Griffin. Cheryl Lai. Megan McLaughlin. And Stephanie Shields. And your cord. <laughs> Typically, we would have Dr. Carlson, who is the graduate program advisor. Uh, here to do graduate student awards. Because of the limited number of people we were allowed to have here, I'll ask Dr. Gates to do the honors. Dr. Gates. I'll try to talk as fast as Dr. Carlson. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Um,
So in addition to the Graduate Student Award for Academic Excellence that was already announced, the graduate faculty also have the opportunity to nominate a student for recognition of excellence in clinical practice. For the advanced practice, nursing of adults in the elderly concentration with a specialization as adult gerontology nurse practitioner and acute critical care nurse, clinical nurse specialist, it's a lot to say. We have two recipients of the Graduate Student Award for Excellence in Clinical Practice in 2020 and two recipients for 2021. Um, for 2020, it was Patricia Buckley and Natalie Eichmart or Eichmann. For spring 2021, the first person is, is not able to attend, Norma Hamill. Uh, say a little bit about Norma. Norma Hamill has excelled scholastically in adult gerontology, primary care nurse practitioner, and adult care clinical nurse specialist program. Norma maintained academic excellence and displayed outstanding performance in her clinical rotations, despite still working long hours as a critical care nurse caring for critically ill patients suffering from COVID-19. Regardless of the mental and physical strain that Norma experienced this past year as a nurse, on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. She maintained commit, remained committed to her education consistently demonstrating high accountability for her learning. As a student, Norma quickly exceeded all expectations of her preceptors. Norma is an exemplary advanced practice nurse who consist, consistently strives to be the best clinician possible, providing outstanding care to her patients with compassion and understanding. Brittany Kinsler is an active duty Air Force officer and one of our top graduates in the adult gerontology, primary care nurse practitioner and adult care clinical nurse specialist program. Brittany excelled clinically in all her rotations and has proven to be an outstanding clinician. Her ability to synthesize information is outstanding while being very efficient without compromising quality or sensitivity to patient needs. Her strong sense of commitment to excellence in practice, as well as her dedication to supporting her classmates with her academic skill and supportive demeanor, have greatly contributed to her success in the program. Brittany is an example of an advanced practice role model with great caring and empathy to those she serves and works with. So now I will be presenting the graduate students. So when we call your name, I guess, um, I will call to the stage each of our graduating graduate nursing students. And they have a little special hood that they're going to unfortunately be hooding themselves today in front of the camera. Um, and there's two concentrations. I'm not gonna go through the whole long advanced practice. It's APN students, advanced practice nurse and nursing leadership in healthcare systems. So students who are presenting will be called and they will hood themselves. So the, I'm just gonna quickly name the, not quickly, I will, I will quickly name the, the graduates who are not attending. Samantha de Blasi, Oscar Gonzalez, leadership concentration, Norma Hamill, APN, Brittany Kinsler, APN, Susan Murphy, APN, Jose Rangel, Leadership Concentration, Harvey Ross, APN, Violetta Rubio, Leadership Concentration. Now I'm going to ask those that are here to come up and, and hood themselves. Heather Bongiovanni, Advanced practice concentration. Matthew Keys, advanced practice nursing concentration. So much easier when there's somebody down there to do it for you. 
Madison Lee, Advanced Practice Nursing Concentration. Chelsea Stappa, Advanced Practice Nurse Concentration. Next, I get to recognize our RN to BSN students and our undergraduate baccalaureate students. So first, we are going to do the RN to BSN students. And like I did before, I think it's, it's, there's a long list of people that are not here. I'm going to do those first, and then I will go to the ones that are here so I can read them off pretty quickly. The ones that are not here, Alyssa Abella. Mary Rachel Elkizola, Samantha Atisha, Gilbert Rogacion Braulio, Regina Brown, Christine K. Casalang Kakatanian, James Joseph Coughlin, Ryan Del Rosario, Maria Eunice de los Santos, Eileen Domitas Everhart, Bertha Denise Flores, Alma Azalea Franco, Jessica Hope Franks, Sibel Gical Garbo, Adrian Alexander Garcia, Samantha Garin, Caitlin Harris, Janet Zhang Huang, Andrea Huerto, Media H. Camis, Stephen Kitchens, Ivan Lopez, Maria Laura, Alexandria Nicole Macedo, Anna Elizabeth Manfreda, Jocelyn Marin, Jacqueline Amy Martino, Jermaine Mayer, Alexandra Jean Mihan, Christina Helene Mihali, Lynn Maradian, Janet Neri, Andy Kwong Nguyen, David Elazar Surla Ortiz, Ora Lalani Padilla Cervantes, Nicole Petzoltz, Brenda Jacqueline Portillo, Lauren Fribilski, Giovanna K. Ramirez, Shelby Riddle, Rainy Molina Rodriguez, Elmira May Lumpkin Sala, Alexandra Sanchez Lopez, Amy Natalie Sanchez, Anjani Shandel, Sylvia Solaria, Robert St. Pierre, Kayla Strong, Audrey Valifar, Carla Valdez, Mary Idalis Venezuela Vicum, Vickman, Diego Cesar Villegas. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the ones that are present and we could give them their due. So the first one is Aurora Alvarez. So 
So please walk up and get your picture. Congratulations. Jose Antonio Diaz. Arlene Jimenez. Myra Mendez. I believe, and then we have one more, Teresa Valerio, and I don't think she's here. So let's give our RN2BSN students a round of applause. Thank you. Um, we also want to recognize our RN2BS students from the Imperial Valley. Um, I don't believe any of them are in attendance today, but I need to read their names. Olivia Amaya, Julio Cesar Ambula Marquez, Carolina ben Benuelos, Sarah Guadalupe Benitez, Christine Bermudez, Amy Brand, Bianca B. Casares, Bethany Klein, Flor Diazelia Gallegos, Annette Fernanda Gomez, Melanie Rochelle Guevara, Diana Gularte, Alejandra Heredia Lomeli, Cynthia Inzunza, Ukash Jelani, Jacqueline Lopez Avina, Yasina Magalon, Alex Harrell Navarez, Myra Vanessa Ortega, Laura Karen Perez, Alejandro Pineda, Cesar Ramirez, Myrna Stephanie Ramirez, Candy Isabel Rojo, Yasina Sanchez, Elizabeth Tavares, Alexa Maria Torres, Taylor Torres, Daniel Vera, and Diana Michelle Zermeno. Okay, so now we're on to our undergraduate, traditional undergraduates. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first do the ones that are not attending. I'm gonna read their names off first. I can get through them pretty quickly and then we can focus in on those of you that are here. So the undergraduates that are not attending, Ahmed Abuzad, Samantha Akista, Kim Adam, Zachary Allen, Ha Un Bang, Carolina Benuelos, Kaylee Barnes, Ethan Baumgart, Casey Bethel, Marillo Baruth, Taylor Brigman, Sophia Brunetti, 
Faith Boondros, Lily Caldwell, Paul Cassidy, Chantel Castaneda, Christy Chen, Tiffany Kim, Danica Chung, Jessalyn Coggin, Jada Cook, Frankie Costin, Molly Curry, Matthew Docamus, Misha Denton, Frederick Dillon, Michelle Doe, Claire Dressel, Eulia Earl, Rachel Friedberg, Alexis Gardner, Emma Gleavy, Katie Griffin, Ryan Hamill, Chiaki Harris, Jamie Heller, Catherine Hermosilio, Zachary Jones, Christine June, Caroline Cam, Jada Kanemasu, Evelyn Kang, Catherine Ku, Danica Kettle, Allison Kyle, Rihanna Kim, Emma King, Matthew Knapp, Ella Jane Kolnick, Tiffany Lamb, Nat Natalie Lamb, Kyle Lennon, Jocelyn Leonard, Jonathan Lee, Hillary Lee, Sydney Martin, Kristen Maselli, Lauren Miniker, Esther Nguyen, Hong Nguyen, Nu Nguyen, Thao Nguyen, Cassidy Nichols, Christina O'Toole, Lisa Parker, Miriam Perez, Alexis Pina, Maria Plummer, Tara Plummer, Christina Pope, Catherine Pirelli, Tanisha Nicole Rosales, Gabrielle Root, Cameron Salvateria, Bruna Santos, Kia Sartip, Allison Shepherd, Christine Servin, Olga Sifantes, Samuel Silva, Ian Tarr, Madison Taylor, Mallory Tebow, Layla Tamertosh, Helena Tracy, Ashley Sang, Catherine Van Loon, McKenna Walton, Lillian Yen, Mariza Zeratan, Angela Weber. Whew. We'll give those a round of applause. So now we're going to go to our traditional um, students. And our first one is Jeremiah Abaha. Joshua Christopher Almaden. <laughs> Pauline Amog.
Tatiana Anderson. Kaylin Ayup. Kara Barlin. Kayla Bingham. I guess it's the next row now. Or we'll give this row a round of applause and they can sit down. Elizabeth Booker. Laura Balut. Velvet Joy Commerce. Amanda Castro. Francesca Katbegan. Justin Sellis. Marcella Chappelle. So we'll give this row a nice round of applause. Next row, Matthew. Castudio. <laughs> Amber Davis. And she's not here. Mariana Delgadillo. Carly Dion. <laughs> Hannah Ilsing. Christina Fanto. Sarah Fauché.
We'll give that bro a nice round of applause. Brendan Foley. I know that, that that's your name was next. See, and I got you off your game. Carissa Fong. Elisa Gines. Daniela Gonzalez. Julia Green. Grace Heyman. Tamara Hilantu. We'll give this row a round of applause. First one in this row, Catalina Isip. Ashley Jackson. Trabia Joshi. <laughs> Lauren Joy. Sarah Kennedy. Tara King. Whoop, Tara, one more over. There you go. Leah Langer. We'll give this row a nice round of applause. Andrea Pia Lapus. Caitlin LaPeachtree. Aaron Lerner. <laughs> Brianna Levet.
Mi Sun Lim. Amanda Lottemoser. Zachary Lewis. So let's give that row a nice round of applause. First to the next row, Cheryl Lee. <laughs> Brittany Mattia. Mary Maleo, Malevo. <laughs> Megan McLaughlin. Chantal Miku. And I said it incorrectly. It's Chantal Mika. Um, Haley Molsick Gibson. Spencer Moorhead. Sarah, oh, I gotta, I don't wanna go to the next row. I'm getting ahead of myself. Give, give this row a round of applause. Sarah Nava. <laughs> Madeline Nelson. John Ray J.R. Ortiz. Amanda Palmajano. Lauren Penice. Anna.
Anna Payne. Anna Peeler. So let's give this row a round of applause. Victor Pham. Mariana Puente. Carly Rate. Gracie Rusk. Kylie Samuelson. We'll give this group a round of applause while the next group is coming in. Isabella Santos. Armando Saucedo. Emma Shabata. Stephanie Shields. Lindy Sugitan. So let's give that last row a round of applause. Ryan Tabora. Michael Taninko. Camille Tolentino. <laughs> Vanessa Tran. Isabella Vallejo Wolf.
Hanna Venerashon. Ashley Marie Vergara. Brandon Vinzan. Alexander Wu. Remington Mooney. Giselle Zendejas. Xionan Zhao. And a big round of applause for Dr. Gates. So for a few closing remarks, you leave here today as graduates of the School of Nursing. You enter the healthcare workforce as alumni of San Diego State University. Please represent us well. Be proud of your education, be proud of your school, be proud of your university. But most of all, be proud of what you have accomplished. You are now part of a very elite group. Less than 10% of the world's population holds a baccalaureate degree. Think about that. Those of you with a master's degree, you are in about the top 5% of the world's educated population. You owe society for this privilege. So please go and provide your patients with the best nursing care you can give. Congratulations.